That's all right. Eric, tell me, what's the the number one thing that you guys do at the Stromer household to be a little more green? Well, that's a good question. I think the thing lately I've been noticing and trying to do more of is to is to kind of stave off and and end that vampire power loss. Oh, scenario. you are doing that, great. Yeah, because what happens is I'll come down, you know, and, and shut the house down at night after the kids have gone to bed. And all of a sudden, from the corner, I see glowing lights, and it's the Game Boy that's never been turned off in 12 years, and it's just sucking energy out <laughs> the of my Game life. Boy. Seriously, these yeah. th- like they leave all these these things on. They 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 know to turn them off. They shut them down, but they're really not off until you shut the whole thing down. Right, right. right. Almost to the point of you got to just hit the power strip and get yeah. everything down because. You know, even the, uh, you know, like the television, you'll see a little blue, you know, on my uh, TV, I think it's a Sanyo or Samsung. Uh-huh. You'll see a little blue ring, even though it's off. If, so it, it's if there's still light, it's on. Power, oh, by right? the way, that's Eric Stromer, and I'm Cindy Dole, and this is Home Wizards. Yeah. And, uh, and, and, the com- it, and the computers, the Game the, Boys. The chargers. The chargers, How many all of us stuff? keep our laptop chargers still plugged into the wall without it being charging into your Laptop. That's exactly That's right. That's not great. The other thing is I have a hot tub in my, <laughs> at my house, right? Yes. And I use it because it just helps me. It just, it just gets me through life, right? Sure. But then when we're out of town, if you don't turn it off, it's just on there. <laughs> you know, it's just sucking power. Well, is it on? It's on a timer though. It's, yeah, and, and it says it's on economy mode. But you can, I, I, I hear the Who's motor. economy? Yeah, you know? it's my economy, <laughs> right? It's just taking his money's pouring down the drain. So let's talk about some really easy ways that are going to help you feel. Not only are you, you know, doing good because you're greening your home, but you're also going to see some cash back and make some difference. Now, one thing that's very, very simple, if you haven't already, is to replace your light bulbs. Right. You hear about this all the time, you know, and uh, the halogen bulbs are another alternative to incandescent, right? Um, but well, f- yeah, but LED is the word. LED that's is the, the way one, to go. Because, because the LEDs, they look and feel more like the old school incandescents. Really? They're yeah. really starting to change the tone of them. Yes. So yeah. really consider those because not only do you can buy LED bulbs and lights the last 15 to 25 years, but they look great. They can they change do. color. I know. I love them. So can, and not only that, but uh, GE, among other, I think, it, I think GE may be the only one because a lot of us said, okay, fine. But I don't like the shape of the LED bulb. You I don't want the, that little squirrely whoop thing. Yeah, it looks like a, a, D, a Dairy Queen ch- cone, right? Yeah. The ice cream on yes. top of a Dairy Queen but, cone. Yes, but I want the old-fashioned bulb, right. right? Right. Well, guess what? They're making them that way now. So you can still feel like you're old school sure. and have the LED so you can get kind of the best of both worlds. Right. I agree. Another thing important to do is to get to know your recycling options. Not just you, but you know your community. Because it's not just bottles and newspapers. I mean, we're all doing that. Think about recycling your old electronics, like your cell phone chargers, right? Absolutely. Your camera, your laptop. And I don't think I don't think people know where to take paint or solvents or things that are s- that are sitting behind our garages across the country, but there really are collection areas that show up on the weekend where you can take it to a sort of a, a central location. Yeah, like your a town, school or something, and uh-huh. they'll get rid of it. You yeah. don't want to dump down the drain. No, 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 no. You know, a great option for getting rid of some of those old paints is to is to get a bunch of kitty litter and pour the paint on a piece of plywood, right, put the kitty litter in, it absorbs and dries, and you just throw that away, right? I love that. Because you don't want it in liquid form. So it's okay to throw away the kitty litter. Exactly, and, much better. And of course, the batteries. Now, this is what we, we do all the time, is I have a Ziploc uh, just above our washer dryer, yeah. and I put dead batteries, and so it's a habit. And so we always put those in this large, it's now... A, like freezer size. It's a really big Ziploc bag. But then, you know, you're not going to want to take your batteries to recycling all the time. No. But you can also, the post office, by the way, has, when you're, next time you're there, yeah. they have these little mailers that you can take home. And certain items, they will allow you for free to mail to them. And then they send it off. Oh, that's good. To have I, did, I actually didn't know that. Yeah. That's great. So anyway, just kind of keep your eyes and ears open because there are a lot of, lot of things. In fact, even Habitat for Humanity and Appliance Recycling Centers of America, right. uh, they will accept certain things. You know, for instance, appliances that still work. You could, you know, donate them to these groups. Oh, there's a bunch, they... bunch of places uh, around our local area where you can take your old appliances and they'll please bring them here. We love yeah, these. Yeah. yeah, definitely do that. You know what else too? Boy, I can't stand this. Walking in the morning, walking the dog, I see people's sprinklers just gushing water. You uh-huh. know, sprinkler heads that have been kicked out inadvertently or driven over by a car, and people don't really ever notice that some of these sprinkler heads are missing. 
and uh-huh. literally it just looks like a fire, you know, yeah. a fire hydrant in Geyser. Manhattan in yeah. the summer, sure. right? It's just yeah. straight up. So occasionally, if you can, turn on your, your irrigation system when you're up and awake and make sure that you're not just, just losing water left and right. Mm-hmm. These, kind of these, spot check how they're functioning. Yeah, you really want to do that. Yeah. Also, it's a good idea to choose products when you go to the store that are designed to help prevent waste later on. So, for instance, you know, avoid some of those individually packaged items. I mean, I know they're handy, and it's kind of cute to have a little small bottle of water, but, you know, it's probably greener to, to be getting the larger bottle and to just, you know what I mean, to uh, cut some of that extra yeah. manufacturing out of the system. Now, when I come up with this next idea, please don't narrow your eyes and glare at me. I, you oh. always do when I talk about this because you get that? so bored and tired Uh-oh. of it. Oh, no. Change your filters, people, in your home and oh. your HVAC I'm system. I'm smiling at Change you. Change your filters. It'll I love make, it. It'll make those units efficient. They'll operate the way they should. They won't be overtaxed. It'll save energy, trust me. She, she's I love smi- it. She's smiling I'm, I'm at me. I'm smiling. <laughs> love filters. No, it's because I always bring this up for segments, and she's like, no, not that again. <laughs> that and gutters. You can't stand it when I talk about it's gutters. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, how about thinking of taking a shower instead of taking a bath? I know that everyone loves to have that luxury of a nice hot Languishing. bath. Languishing. I know. La, la, la. But, That's my song when but, I'm bathing. But, you yeah. know, it's, it's the easiest <laughs> tip of the bunch. You probably... Are already doing it, you know, and on while you're at it, changing the shower head. Well, you know? and, and I'll tell you, here's a great thing. When I was a kid, we went to a summer cottage up in northern Wisconsin, and that hot water heater was like the size of a thimble. So my dad said to us, listen, when you get in the shower, you wet your body barely, turn everything off, lather up, turn the shower back on, you'll have enough hot water, which literally was he like He was a, green ahead of his time. He was green ahead of his time, and we, we learned how to do that. So I think I was conditioned from a, a young age to do that. You know, so that's to have a, a suffering act, shower. A suffering <laughs> shower. I'm freezing, and I've got soap all over me. I hate this. See? See? Good subliminal but, message. But to that point, I mean, you don't have to go that far, but a low-flow shower head would be a good idea yeah. to start with. And yeah. then, you know, especially when you're brushing the teeth. My little daughter, Willow, she comes up when I'm brushing the teeth and turns on, turns off the water. Well, between the time I take it from the, oh, the faucet to, to my save teeth. water? And then just looks at me. Glares at me like, what are you doing? You know, what are you killing the planet? Turn the uh, thing off while oh, you brush your teeth. That's good. So she's, she's learning. conditioned. She, that's she great. It out. Yeah. Here's something that I'm doing more of, and I I think that you know it seems so basic, but just planning out your menus for the week ahead. So like I use Sunday as my time to kind of plan all the different things that I'll try to cook upcoming in the week. It doesn't right. always work. Sometimes it does. Sometimes it doesn't. But the more often that it does, you'll find that you're saving money and saving. You know the planet because well, you aren't true. You aren't wasting. I have to you be, aren't buying I, more things. I got to tell you that's absolutely true because what happens for me is I'll go the night of the dinner, start at four thirty. I'll rush to the store, and inadvertently, I think you are sp- spending more money because you're doing it last minute. You, or you're buying two more cans of diced tomatoes that you didn't need because they were because you in already the have them. Hello, <laughs> by, oh my goodness! Do you want to know something? I have seven, count them, seven bottles of maple syrup. Uh-oh. At different levels in my cabinet. Okay. Because we kept buying the maple sure. syrup over and over again. It, and I could condense them and have like 10 gallons, but I got 22 bottles in there. Maybe there's a project somehow. Maybe I, maybe they got, I got to quit making green pancakes for the kids. Yeah. It's too enticing. <laughs> but it is. It's, it's one of those things by keeping inventory too, by the way. And and coming soon, we, we promise we're probably going to have this next week, yeah. our Home Wizards downloadable checklist. Oh, this is checklist. a good thing. By the way, it's free to the it's user. It's free. And all you do is you, it's going to be coming on our website. But what we're going to include include in that is our pantry checklist That's and it. that will also help you be more green because like Eric and like me you won't end up buying you know 10 cans of chicken broth because you already had I know nine I'm, you I'm know gu- guilty as charged I do no it. no no but yeah. you know we're, it's just very simple and things. think how easy it could be with your it would be a way to reunite with your spouse where you know you have your your wife in the pantry and you're standing there and she goes chicken stock and you go check and then <laughs> mushroom soup check and you just do that and get oh, it all done see that sounds like romance right there bromance romance <laughs> however you want to look at it it's there okay <laughs> shopping locally you know paying attention to where the goods come from is also a really yes, good that's way a huge thing you know like shop local farmers markets. your farmers markets yep. you know because now you're not only helping the local farmer but there's 
that less transportation idea, right? That's and it's save. better for you because you're buying stuff indigenous to your region, and it's not it's not com- you know it's not like grapes from Chile. Mm-hmm. I you know these flew on a plane for three months and they're here. Yeah. How do you think they got there? They're riddled with some kind of spray and pesticide to keep it preserved. You don't want to eat yeah, that. Yes, could be. How about starting a vegetable patch? You know what I mean. That also is a very green thing to do growing some of your own food and we talk about how you can grow almost anything from inside your house too you you know right on the windowsill so be thinking about all these little things whether you're in an apartment you know or in a nice house wherever you are things you can do baby steps to start greenifying by the way if you're not growing tomatoes this year and you're buying them in the store, I'm going to beat you with a rubber hose. Okay. You grow your own tomatoes. <laughs> Come on, people. It's a, it's a great way to get get the idea of how to grow your own food and easy to do. And also, you know, just think about some of these really simp- simple energy habits, maybe even considering alternative energy. You know, that's going to take you a little bit more to get into that. But uh, we have solar panels, and we're actually leasing them, and we, we save hundreds of dollars with our utility bill. So little things and big things you can do to greenify. So when we come back, we have some more fun things to talk about because we love to help improve your home and improve your life. Eric Stromer, Cindy Dole. Remember, you can always find us on our website at yourhomewizards.com. The wine beneath the bed, the things we done and said, and all the 